Endotoxin contamination is a common problem with recombinant proteins and nucleic acids purified from gram-negative bacteria such as E. coli. When bacterial cells are actively growing or when their membranes disintegrate upon death, the essential components of the cell wall, known as lipopolysaccharides, or LPS, are released into the surrounding environment. These LPS components, known as endotoxins, create a dangerous contamination that can trigger shock, inflammation, or sepsis in animals and tissue culture. Endotoxins are heat-stable molecules associated with the outer membranes of certain gram-negative bacteria. The thermoscientific Pierce Chromogenic Endotoxin Quant Kit is an efficient quantitative endpoint assay that uses amoebocyte lysates to quantitate endotoxin in protein, peptide, antibody, or nucleic acid samples. This kit is endotoxin-specific, and beta-glucan does not interfere with the quantitation. When endotoxin encounters the lysate, a cascade of enzymatic reactions results in the activation of factor C, factor B, and pro-clotting enzyme. The activated enzyme catalyzes the release of paranitroaniline, or PNA, from the colorless chromogenic substrate, producing a yellow color. After stopping the reaction, the released PNA is photometrically measured at 405 nanometers. The correlation between absorbance and endotoxin concentration is linear, and the developed color intensity is proportional to the amount of endotoxin present in the sample, and can be calculated using a standard curve. Here we describe the protocol for the Pierce Chromogenic Endotoxin Quant Kit. First, ensure that all required consumables, such as pipette tips, tubes, 96 well plates, and reservoirs, are pyrogen-free and equilibrate all reagents to room temperature before use. Pre-equilibrate the plate in a heating block at 37 degrees Celsius and maintain this temperature throughout the assay procedure. Each lyophilized E. coli endotoxin standard vial contains 10 to 50 endotoxin units known as potency. Reconstitute the content by adding the appropriate amount of endotoxin-free water needed to make endotoxin standard solution at 10 endotoxin units per mil. Vortex the solution vigorously for 15 minutes at 1500 RPM. Prepare dilutions for high standard or low standard range using endotoxin standard solution of 10 endotoxin units per mil. Make first highest standard dilution. Vortex two minutes. Pipette from first dilution to make all other subsequent dilutions. Vortex all three tubes together one minute. Adjust the sample pH to be between 6 and 8 using endotoxin-free acid or base as needed. If testing serum samples, dilute 50 to 100 fold to be compatible with the assay. The serum must be completely free of red blood cells and heat shocked at 70 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Add 50 microliters of endotoxin standard dilutions, blank and samples per well in triplicate. Ensure pipetting order and rate of reagent addition remain consistent from well to well and row to row throughout the procedure.
We constitute lyophilized amoebocyte lysate immediately before use with 1.7 mL of endotoxin-free water and swirl gently to dissolve the powder. Do not vortex. Gently invert end over end to recover all of the powder from the sides in the cap of the vial. If more than one vial is required, pool two or more vials before use. Pour reconstituted lyophilized amoebocyte lysate into the pyrogen-free reservoir. Using a multi-channel pipette, add 50 microliters per well of the reconstituted amoebocyte lysate reagent. Start time T1 as the amoebocyte lysate is added to the first wells. Note that the time T1 incubation varies between the high and the low standard ranges as indicated on the vial. Once the amoebocyte lysate reagent has been added to the plate wells, briefly remove the plate and mix by gently tapping 10 times on the side of the plate, avoiding spilling. Return the plate to the plate heater and resume the incubation at 37 degrees Celsius for the remaining time T1. Seven minutes before the end of time T1, Reconstitute the chromogenic substrate with 3.4 mL of endotoxin-free water. Mix gently by tilting and swirling the vial. If more than one vial is required, pool two or more vials before use. Pre-warm the reconstituted chromogenic substrate to 37 degrees Celsius for five minutes before dispensing into plate wells. When the incubation time with amoebocyte lysate is completed, Pour reconstituted warmed chromogenic substrate into the pyrogen-free reservoir and using a multi-channel pipette, add 100 microliters per well. Note, time T2 of 6 minutes starts with the addition of substrate to the first wells. After substrate is added to all wells, Briefly remove the plate from the plate heater and gently tap 10 times to facilitate mixing. Return the plate to the plate heater at 37 degrees Celsius for the remaining incubation time. During the incubation time T2, prepare a 25% acetic acid stop solution. Add 50 microliters 25% acetic acid per well to stop the reaction. Remove the plate from the heater and gently tap 10 times on the side of the plate to mix. Watch for bubbles, as they will affect the optical reading. Use a micropipette tip or a needle to eliminate the bubbles. Read the optical density at 405 nanometers immediately after assay completion. If the plate is read at a later time, keep it covered to avoid evaporation. Prepare a standard curve by plotting the average blank corrected absorbance for each standard on the y-axis versus the corresponding endotoxin concentration in endotoxin units per mil on the x-axis. The test is valid if the coefficient of determination, r squared, is greater than or equal to 0.98. Do not include 0, .0 in the calculation of the regression line. The Thermoscientific Pierce Chromogenic Endotoxin Quant Kit is a highly sensitive endpoint assay that accurately detects and measures endotoxins. The kit enables detection in two linear sensitivity ranges of 0.01 to 0.1 endotoxin units per mil and 0.1 to 1.0 endotoxin units per mil. The assay is available in three pack sizes of 30, 60, or 240 reactions per kit. 
For efficient endotoxin removal, use the thermoscientific Pierce High Capacity Endotoxin Removal Resin, which is a poly epsilon lysine affinity resin that displays both excellent endotoxin binding capacity and protein recovery. It is available as bulk resin or in several convenient spin column formats. Find out more about our endotoxin detection and removal products at thermofisher.com endotoxin.